You don't look too happy, Theron. What is it? They were mounting a resistance. Locals, Imperials, they had resources, a plan, a base of operations. Miot was arranging to smuggle weapons. Gone. They're all gone. The Star Fortress over Bathawui vaporized every last trace, every last rebel, and then just moved on like it didn't matter anymore. I don't know what a Star Fortress is, but I assume it belongs to Arkham. Let's obliterate it. I love nothing more, but it's not that simple. Frankly, I've only just gotten up to speed. Bewanego was looking into it. Now he's busy trying to reach out to his fellow Bothans, so this falls on me. Crazy boy, wawahuna. The Star Fortresses are battle stations, deadly and pervasive. Arkin's way of keeping the galaxy pliant. So many worlds we can't even contact because of these things. There are dozens, maybe hundreds. We tried everything to learn about their inner workings. Weaknesses, nothing. And now this. Right now they're suppressing, but that's just to bide their time. I feel it, Commander. Arkin's got a plan for those things. The kind of plan you don't recover from. Find a way to access one, and I'll tear it apart from the inside. I'd love to see that. Without the faintest clue of what we're up against, it's a massive risk. All right. We have to do something. I'll go too. Try to make heads or tails so we know how to deal with them. Let's not waste any time. Be right there with you, Commander. Commander, Lieutenant Marklow. I know all about you, of course. Know the kind of things you Sith represent. If I hadn't seen with my own eyes what you'd done for the camp. What I want to say is, on behalf of every Republic grunt on this rock, we're with you against Sakul, all the way. You good to go? Good luck. If you manage to get inside one of those things, blow it apart. Setting a course for Alderaan. You think I'm stuffing me up? You're in for a treat. All right, Commander, we're here. Get ready to be dropped off. You're in a service duct over one of the main observation towers. Should find a lift system in there that'll get you deeper inside. Not sure what's at the heart of this thing. Keep your guard up. I'll be in touch. Warning, intruder. Ephemeris vigilance protocol is inactive. If I know you in labs, could be you're about to come across some horribly dangerous experiment. Getting a look at their armament logs. I know world governments that can't match what they've got in these things. Must be where all those sky troopers are coming from. Try not to wake anything up down there. Command subroutines initialized. Additional units requested. Prioritize neutralization of designated threat. Only constructed units provide a 3.2% increase in destructive efficiency. They don't start mass producing those things. Great work.
Miot says the power source is just a bit below you. A couple levels, maybe. Well, if you wanted a sense of the scale of this place, there you go. Okay, you're in Power Central now. We need to do something about Ephemeris. See if you can patch me into its data cores. Ephemeris alert. Data center breach in progress. Data center defense protocols enacted. All units respond. Not I come. Security units ineffective. System uplink initiated. Neural feedback. I'm reading this right. Ephemeris beamed its core computing into one of those units. Interesting move. Creepy, but interesting. Might give us a tactical advantage, actually. Taking it out could disrupt system protocols for a bit. And I'm Rebooting in. in. Uh, what happens when I pull out this Five. line of code? Warning. Ephemeris data core compromised. Secondary core engaged. Neural feedback overload. Rebooting. Cypher algorithm. Miot, give me a hand here. Rebooting is. Ephemeris alert. Secondary data core failure. System failure. Deploying emergency backup unit. Engaging combat algorithm. Classification, night. Walk it off. Ephemeris. Failure inevitable. Nice work, Commander. Now we'll bypass that shield and... Welcome to my Star Fortress, Outlander. It will also serve nicely as your tomb. Can't get at the shield. Something remote. Have to rethink this. Mia, get a lift open. I've been sifting through everything you pulled from the Star Fortress. Starting to get a better picture of what we're facing here. What are we looking at? <sighs> like I thought, the scope of all this is... Actually, forget what I thought. It's beyond anything I imagined. This friendly guy is part of a special order of knights called Exarchs. You kind of met one. Best I can tell, one of them commands each star fortress. Some were with Valkorion and Arkan when I first arrived on Zakul. Yeah, they've been around a long while. Outside of that, there's not much to say. They have their own ways and agenda. Secretive. All Senya said is that they're devoted to the Eternal Throne, and she'd never, ever want to cross one. Other big piece I was able to work out. The fortress is powered by a massive sun generator, like on Zakul. We could use it to destroy the station, but according to energy readings, the reactor is protected by a remote bunker on the planet's surface. So? We take out the bunker, then the reactor. That's tall order. I mean, not impossible, but we need ground forces and we don't have the personnel, unless... Miat's yeah, been pulling together reports of distress calls, skirmishes, the idea being we'd eventually follow up on them. Here, these are a start. A handful of worlds under the threat of a star fortress, each with potential allies. 
Just a handful? You said there are hundreds of these things. This handful alone will be more than a handful, trust me. I say we focus on what we can for now. You've got to prove that helping us is their best possible option, which it is. They just don't know it yet. I got this alliance together, didn't I? People love me. I hope you're right. Wei Hu Ra Kui, Guan Xie Xie Mei. 